Monu passer un pas <laughs> it 
It's as if you think I'm evil. Or that I have done some great wrong by you. By doing what I have done. <laughs> How naive. You do not know the ways of the world. <laughs> what? Do you think that property belongs to those that live in castles all their lives with stupid crowns on their heads? Or maybe some big fat men that hoard gold and jewels and slaves? No. Property belongs to those that can take and those that can keep. We took your land. And we intend to keep it. Is it not our right to keep it? You sit cozy in your huts without much care in the world. While people like us, like my people, are forced to live off of land that is hostile and barren covered in snow and winter for most of the moons. We have barely anything for ourselves, and you live here naively, as if you have everything you need and not other cares in the world. Is it not our right to take from you who cannot even keep it? <laughs> then you of all people see us as evil. <laughs> it's within our right to take it. People like us who have to hunt and defend ourselves against wolves protect our own people against monsters. We know what monsters are like. We have to fight them frequently. And people like you have no idea. Like my own brother, Nial. Ever since we were young, we had to protect one another and hunt together. It was how we made it by. It was how we survived. And even though he was large, and though he was one of the people our village looked up to, for being a future great warrior, like one my father Eric praised. Meanwhile, I it's not meant to be a warrior, not in their eyes. No, I was just someone else. The younger brother of a great warrior, not a great leader, even though I was the son of the lord and ruler of our land. How much land there was to begin with. <laughs> but I still proved my worth. I protected my brother from the wolves that one fateful day when we were hunting in the woods looking for anything we can hunt just so we would not starve and die the next morn. But then we were caught off guard by those wolves. We ran, we tried to run, but my brother Nial tripped and fell. And all I could do was watch. But then I took out my blade. My little, tiny little dagger. I came between my brother Nial and that wolf. I drove that blade into his heart. I protected my brother that day, and the wolf was no more. The rest the wolves fled, for they finally realized who was truly worthy of surviving. And then my brother and I took that wolf back to the village. And then he praised me in front of everyone as he paraded that wolf high and mighty to everyone. 
I slayed the wolf, he said. My little brother saved me. And then... I became great just like him. My brother... My father... The entire village looked up to me. For I was worthy. I was a future warrior. Oof, Haradson. A new name given to me by this very wolf that I've slain. That now adorns me. The celebrations did not last for... The land became more barren over the years. More hostile to us. We could not even grow anything. He sent me, my brother Niall, to foreign lands. Your lands. We raided, we pillaged, we took, and we kept. We celebrated much over the new land that was ours. Finally, our people could prosper, and your people would be put in their place. <laughs> We raided many villages, we took many slaves, they taught us everything we needed to know about the land. We even learned their vulgar language. What? You're surprised? How else do you think I'm talking to you right now? <laughs> and yet, when we came for your land, you dared. My brother. Neil, the giant. Oh, that look in your eye. You know exactly what I mean. Yes, it was you. My brother fought six of your kind all by himself. They couldn't stop him. He kept slaying your kind. Look at the pathetic little orbs. But then you, you just sat. You came from behind him. You stabbed him in the neck with this! You took my brother's life this day. My brother! We were supposed to reign together. We were supposed to pillage more and find glory among the gods. It cannot be this way. It cannot. My brother dying this way. The gods cannot have destined this. They cannot have. No! I. And now you, you are here amid my midst, and I shall finally take my revenge! Uh, <laughs> 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 I had my men hunt for you and bring you among me just so I could kill you and give you an instant merciful death? No. In fact, I should be thanking you. According to our ways, those who die a glorious death are given glory eternal among Odin and all other great warriors and gods in Valhalla. So really, I must be thanking you. You guaranteed that my brother die a glorious death. And now, he shall have a glorious life eternal. But still, you, you are the one who killed my brother. And now, it is my turn to rule. And what better way to establish my dominion than to have my own brother's killer by my side? as a slave. <laughs> I shall slave you away every day, every night. And you will not know rest until I allow deaths and parades to take you. <laughs> I shall rule these people with you as my slave, to show my people and to those that we will raid of your kind in the future exactly what fates will await them, and to show 
that we have a right to take and keep what we see fit. And I intend to keep you for a long, long time. Oh! Talk for Simba Sorut! Ha 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 ha!